it. Courage. Passion. Maroon is something you can't get it. You have to earn it. In the army fraternity, the symbol maroon, if you're wearing a maroon, maroon is the color of airborne forces all over the world. So if you're wearing a maroon, you don't have to speak for yourself because it speaks volumes about what you are and what you are capable of doing. Making facts sound stranger than fiction. That is probably the best way to describe the job profile of the Indian Army's paratroopers. These men belong to the elite airborne forces of the Indian Army. They get dropped behind enemy lines to destroy strategic targets. These combat paratroopers are a crack force, working tirelessly to defang the enemy before he can bite. No shock, nice up. Up. Good. The para forces have been, you know, denoted by a famous adage, men apart, every man an emperor. This was picked up, or rather, this was to denote the heroics of the paratroopers during the World War II. The paratroopers can go down behind enemy lines and change the face of battle. During wartime operations, these elite troops of the Parachute Regiment clear the way for the infantry and other land forces to march forward by weakening enemy defenses in advance. These paratroopers can operate at any time of the day or night. Most of their operations are clandestine in nature. These airborne forces have played a pivotal role during all the wars fought by the Indian Army. During Operation Vijay in Kargil in 1999, the paratroopers were instrumental in clearing the Mushko Valley and Batalik sector by getting rid of the foreign infiltrators. In addition to combat roles, the airborne forces are engaged in a variety of tasks, including combat, search and rescue operations, counter-insurgency actions, sabotaging enemies' communication systems, and responding to emergencies that include terror threats from armed insurgents and cross-border terrorists. The paratroopers, which are a part of the Indian Army's airborne forces, are ready action troops. These are inserted in action zones using various means, including heliborne insertions, slithering, ground vehicles, and military freefall techniques like Halo, that is high altitude, low opening, and Haho, meaning high altitude, high opening. These techniques are used by paratroopers to deliver personnel, equipment and supplies from a transport aircraft with little or no enemy detection. The paratroopers are highly self-sufficient and capable of lifting and airdropping weapons and vehicles straight into the scene of action. An artillery element is integral to these airborne warriors who carry Indian light field gun as part of their arsenal. Within minutes of being airdropped, the paratroopers quickly place the gun in fighting position. 
In addition to their highly specialized combat and survival skills, the paratroopers also get to use some highly sophisticated weapon systems. Armed with advanced GPS-based navigation equipment, including GPS watches, radio and satellite communication sets, the Indian Army paratroopers count amongst some of the best airborne forces in the world. How does the Indian Army get hold of these men? Men who know no fear, men who can attack with the stealth of a cheetah, and men who take pride in living under the shadow of death 24-7. Paratroopers, both men and officers, are elite and special. And they've got to be very physically and mentally tough. All these paratroopers are volunteers. That is, they become paratroopers out of their own choice. In the academy, there were officers from the parachute regiment. And uh, I always considered them as a role model. Something told me that they are a little different from the others. To be considered fit for wearing the maroon beret, a soldier has to be comparatively young, physically fit, mentally tough, intelligent and motivated, with an ability to innovate. Officers from all the arms and services can join the parachute regiment. All paratroopers compulsorily go through a 90-day probationary period, during which they are subjected to a wide range of physical and mental endurance tests. These include advanced battle proficiency tests, speed marches, and route marches up to 70 kilometers at one go. Route march, as uh, the saying in army goes, it's all mental. When you're running a route march with uh, 22 kilos of weight and you're running for 60 odd kilometers, then it is bound to happen that your ankles give out, your knee gives out. There is a tussle going on between your mind and your heart that should you give up or should you not. And that is where I would say your temperament to carry on in spite of all odds come into play. A person just by his sheer physical strength cannot run 60 to 70 kilometers with such a weight. Their minds and bodies are stretched beyond their limits. They also hone their skills in navigation, medical rescues, demolition handling, and rock craft. All these assume significance, considering that a paratrooper may have to opt for near impossible routes to reach the enemy and evacuate his bodies injured in action. The paratroopers also get special inputs on conducting ambushes and raids on terrorist dens in populated areas. They train to achieve mastery in both conventional as well as unconventional warfare. Not everyone manages to clear the probation period. The average rejection rate hovers between 70% and 80%. The ones who fail to impress their instructors are repatriated to their parent units. Only those found up to the mark are sent for special para-training. These men also go through highly specialized training modules at various other army institutions in India. The Indian Air Force's Paratroopers Training School, or PTS, in Agra, in North India, is one such institution. Here they attend a 28-day para-basic course where they get to learn the art of slithering and para-jumping in a variety of conditions. They also attend a compact free-fall course with and without oxygen systems. Those who develop cold feet at the 11th hour are declared unfit for becoming a paratrooper and are sent back to their parent units. To qualify for wearing these para wings and the maroon beret, each of the trainees must make five successful static line para jumps from various heights. These include night jumps and jumps with full battle load. Since these airborne forces work in comparatively smaller teams, the paratroopers must have loads of empathy for their buddies and also possess superior leadership qualities. We need to gel with our troops. Only if we can gel with them, they will listen to me. So basically it's uh, gaining their trust and making them believe that yes, I can lead you into a successful operation. The Airborne Brotherhood 
cutting across arms and services, the color of your lanyard, we all are brothers. So this is well known in army that the airborne is one. Marooning, the ceremonial granting of the Parachute Regiment's signature Maroon Beret is an event that all the trainees eagerly look forward to. Wearing this cap defines their elite forces identity. For Captain Dipankar Baruatu, marooning was a life-changing experience, but in an entirely different way and for an entirely different reason. Initially, when they told me that I didn't make it, I was very disappointed. Whatever I have seen of you, you are a very good officer. Okay, you have performed quite okay in your probation. But uh, after speaking to people, I think there is some shortcoming, you know, you didn't gel with the team. So it doesn't matter. Look after yourself, take care. Now you go back to your parent battalion. So take care and uh, wish you all the best for your career ahead in the army. When Captain Shiv Shankar was taking me out and maybe uh, I was to board the gypsy and go to the railway station, uh, this feeling was going on inside me that uh, am I not capable enough? Superiors do play such pranks from time to time. After all, shocks and surprises are integral to a paratrooper's life. Captain Aswal came and told me that uh, I didn't clear my mess bill. And what about your mess bill? Have you cleared it? No, sir. Please come along and clear your mess bill first. It was like a last nail in the coffin that uh, once you're not selected and then you're again going back to clear your mess bill. But then when I went inside to my shock and surprise, you know, people were waiting, holding that maroon beret. And it was like, I've done it. Adios, congratulations. In the true paratrooper tradition, Captain Dipankar is made to wear his maroon beret dipped in his drink. Yes, his drink. Without this, his baptism into the airborne forces remains incomplete. Army candidates get to be in the shoes of the Indian Army's paratroopers. They shall train at Agra's paratrooper training school. Who amongst these five would come out with flying colors? Who will leave his victorious footprints and make history by winning Mission Army's coveted ultimate prize for being a true warrior? And the winner of Mission Army Desh Yaraksha is after the break. I welcome you to Indian Military Academy. Mr. Charles, we are going to be 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 going to For the first time in the history of television, Nat Geo Mission Army Desh Ke Rakshak has taken viewers deep inside the forbidden fortresses of the Indian Army. We got to share some really electrifying moments with a highly motivated bunch of officers and their men. We stepped into the portals of some of the world's finest military training facilities and had several dates with the mighty weapon systems that make the Indian Army one of the most professional armies in the world. We captured the molding of enthusiastic young men and women into fearsome combatants. We peeped inside the customs, traditions and cultures unique to the various arms of the Indian Army. We matched our footsteps with those at the forefront of safeguarding India's territorial integrity and kept company with those engaging terrorists and insurgents 24-7. 
so that ordinary Indians can sleep in peace. We also got to feel the army's healing touch for the common people inhabiting India's border areas. For the first time in the history of the Indian Army, Mission Army offered five ordinary civilians a chance to live life the army way. They were groomed at the Indian Army's eminent training institutions by a bunch of hand-picked officers. These five civilians were selected from amongst thousands of enthusiastic aspirants after a grueling filtration process spread across India's three metros, Bengaluru, Delhi and Mumbai. पहले पैसों के अलावा कुछ सोचा ही नहीं मगर अभी वो गलती नहीं करनी है अभी कुछ और भी सोचना है और वो भी आर्मी मेरे में आज इतना जज्बा है कि मैं इतना आगे जाऊंगा ना कोई नहीं मुझे पकड़ पाए दे ऑल्सो हैड टू मेजर अप टू दी आर्मी एग्जैक्टिंग मेडिकल स्टैंडर्ड्स फाइव ऑफ द फिफ्टीन शॉर्ट लिस्टेड कैंडिडेट्स वो आर रिजेक्टेड इन द मेडिकल्स Sorry, we'll have to declare you medically unfit. Unfortunately, we'll have to make you unfit. The remaining ten were once again made to prove their metal at the Rajputana Rifles Regimental Centre, which helped us to zero in on Mission Army's final five candidates: Kuldeep Brana from Delhi, Rudrashish Singh Gupta from Mumbai. Rohan Vijay Takalkar from Pune, Ila Vora from Pune, and Priyanka Oswal from Pune. These five civilians have spent a rocking one month experiencing life the army way across various army stations. I welcome you to Indian Military Academy. They were offered a historical opportunity by the National Geographic Channel and the Indian Army to wear army uniform and do things not many even in the army get to do. पहली बार आई एम का यूनिफॉर्म पहन रहा हूँ फीलिंग वेरी प्राउड टू वेयर दिस यूनिफॉर्म आई जस्ट आई जस्ट वॉन्ट टू वॉक आउट ऑन द स्ट्रीट वॉक विद माई गेट एंड एंड जस्ट शो ऑफ वी आर इन यूनिफॉर्म वी आर लाइक डेम एंड वी आर हियर टू डू समथिंग दीज फाइव हैव एक्सपीरियंस द इंडियन आर्मी थ्री सिक्सटी डिग्रीज एक्सपीरियंसिंग द इंडियन आर्मी हैज बिन अ रोलर कोस्टर राइड फॉर दैम an honor so i'm feeling very honored i'm feeling really bad i mean just one chance i had got and i've just missed it pehle kabhi nahi baitha chopper mein aur bada hi khush hua aaj ki aaj chopper pe baithne ka mauka mil raha hai pehle tank ab chopper mis jo char din rahenge idhar se guzarenge badhiya maze karenge par wo baat nahi hai They have shown exceptional talent in acquiring combat skills, imbibing army traditions, and facing some of the toughest challenges of their lives. Left नहीं गया लेकिन उसके line में left में लगा एक ऐसे गया और एक ऐसे गया बीच में जो सबसे पे लगा ही नहीं. It was overwhelming the magnitude of it. The sound inside things happened so fast. I start my tank and I take it wherever I want to. Despite being in stiff competition with each other, it was the army's exceptional work culture that kept them bonded as a team all the time. Last burst of energy, come on, come on, last burst, last burst, oh come, God, on, come on, come on, last burst, go, don't stop now, don't stop now. They just had a couple of days to learn and execute what regular soldiers do over weeks or months. Not an easy task by any yardstick. Sir, Navy, bola. These are just the basics. So this is from where the officers also start, and then they go on to bigger and greater things. I am just load kar rahi hu ab. Class ki yaad aa gayi thodi bahut. Mathematics to apna bachpan se hi kharaab hai aur ab tak theek nahi hua. To mathematical jab yaha kuch calculus chal rahi to mere upar se hi ja rahi thi. And that makes each one of them a winner. But Mission Army can have just one winner. the one who will get to walk shoulder to shoulder with indian army soldiers on an international mission rohan has been a consistent performer over the last 30 days quiet and pensive by nature rohan lets his work do all the talking as he is a man of few words 
great experience great explosion great experience her diminutive persona notwithstanding priyanka is forever bubbling with energy no challenges and no setbacks could ever dampen her enthusiasm i die hard go get her ila has managed to create a record of being the first and so far the only woman to have successfully completed a lido jump has been a tough contender endowed with a lively personality he has managed to sail through tough situations courtesy his sense of humor jaan lag rahi thi bilkul aise ki bas ab main delhi le chalta hu jo jitna traffic rahega na sab bas side mein wala awesome tha matlab thoda sa agar idhar karte na to helicopter aise ho gaya aur yahan matlab asli mein ho raha hai matlab aur lag raha hai ki matlab crash ho raha hai to ho raha hai some of his one liners have gone on to become mission army signature statements hum to fauji bana ke reh chhodenge main aaj मुश्किल वक्त कमांडो सख्त अप्रोचिंग ऑल द टास्क विद फुल सिंसियरिटी एंड ऑलवेज गिविंग हिज 100% टू एवरीथिंग ही डिड रुद्राशीष हैज बीन अ टफ कंपेटिटर दो लेट डाउन बाय हिज वीक अपर बॉडी स्ट्रेंथ ड्यूरिंग सम ऑफ द टास्क्स दीस सेटबैक्स हैव ओनली स्ट्रेंथेंड हिज रिजॉल्व टू मेक इट टू द टॉप डिस्पाइट ईच वन ऑफ देम हैविंग गिवन देयर बेस्ट शॉट ड्यूरिंग ऑल द टास्क्स only one is going to make it to the top and this would be decided in their final task of the series to emerge as the topper they need to jump down they have to perform a static line jump from a height of 3500 feet and land safely on the ground this is the moment they were waiting for the opportunity to emerge as the ultimate winner To be able to do this, they must first train as a paratrooper. Being inattentive in these classes could seal one's fate forever. इतना कंसंट्रेशन हमने कभी भी किसी क्लास में नहीं दिया. Check canopy, then hold, look, pull away. Down, down, check it. Okay. Slipping up even once can lead to elimination. Para jumping is not for the meek ones. Who will jump to victory and who will dive into oblivion? After the break. Hold. Look. Get away. Mujhe do button dikhe usme ek reserve ka aur ek wo parachute kholne ka. Woh mujhe kholne aur matlab mere ko dhyan nahi kaun sa naam kya hai. Kaam hona chahiye bas jinda niche utarna chahiye mujhe. Hold. Look. Get away. Pull. Why are you stuck like this? Army candidates now get into the skydiving mode. Before I start, I'd like to introduce uh, you to the uh, team of instructors. The instructors may like to come here. I'm Lieutenant Colonel Satyendra Verma. I'm from Corps of Signals. Lieutenant Colonel Satyendra Verma from the Army's Adventure Wing is an experienced sports skydiver. Being an expert in training novices into this extreme sport, his focus here is not only to teach these contestants the art of para jumping, but to also make them jump and land safely. Lieutenant Colonel R D Singh Bilawariya, Major Tushar Dasmana, Lieutenant Colonel Ashwin Nagpal, Lieutenant Colonel Sarvesh Darwal. We'll be training you. I'll be giving you all the information and knowledge. So I'll be taking an exam in the end. and if you all come up to the mark all of you will jump or only the persons who are come to the mark they will jump their crash course in skydiving begins with lessons in exiting the aircraft which includes lessons in maintaining the right body position and slow counting immediately after jumping they grasp the techniques of free fall deploying the parachute handling emergencies like the parachute failing to deploy and landing safely on their feet I'm excited but I'm scared also that what happened and when I'm going to see that ground from the aircraft and how it feels for if you know this is a parachute this will how you look like here they are learning the ropes of jumping with our ram air parachute made of lightweight nylon the ram air parachute allows the paratroopers to glide and maneuver the chute in the air instead of coming down straight 
दिस क्लास इज लिटरली अवर लाइफ एंड डेथ तो मतलब आप मस्ती भी नहीं सूझ रही हमें हम बस सुन रहे हैं मतलब इतना कॉन्सेंट्रेशन हमने कभी भी किसी क्लास में नहीं दिया आई नो दैट एवरी वन हैज दैट हाइट फोबिया और कुलीप को बहुत ज़्यादा है तो आई एम जस्ट थिंकिंग कि उसके मन में क्या चालू होगा अभी समझ में तो हमेशा मुझे कितना मुझे नहीं आता है मैं बस जो मेरे काम जो मेरे काम की बात है मैं उसके ध्यान रखता हूँ मुझे दो बटन दिखे उसमें एक रिजर्व का और एक वो पैराशूट खोलने का वही मुझे खोलने और मतलब मेरे को ध्यान नहीं कौन सा नाम क्या है काम होना चाहिए बस जिंदा नीचे उतरना चाहिए मुझे डिफिकल्ट नहीं है फोर स्टेप्स ही है होल्ड लुक कट अवे एंड पुल आई डोंट नो द मोमेंट आई एल बी स्टैंडिंग एंड द एग्जिट डोर ऑफ द एयरक्राफ्ट दैट आई एम वट आई एल बी थिंकिंग चेक कैन ओपी देन होल्ड लुक पुल अवे कट अवे थोड़ा Para jumping is an art which is perfected with practice. A paratrooper must master the technique of sliding, jumping and landing properly. Mission Army candidates learn the tricks of landing and rolling on the ground with their legs bent at a specified angle. Touching the ground at an inappropriate angle could lead to injury at times. I just landed on my foot directly not without any angle. So I also got hurt myself in the calf and then now it's I think it's a bit of cramp. You need to be on point. Up, down, up. 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 1000 feeling really excited right now. एक बार तो मन कर रहा है कि अभी लेके जाएंगे तो अभी जब लगा दूँ ये मजा जब ही आएगा जब असली जम करना पड़ेगा Mission Army candidates now take off for a live demo in skydiving. Excited yet apprehensive, they watch their instructors jump out of the chopper nonchalantly with rapt attention and a sense of amazement. experience has left them spellbound i couldn't believe it uh, when that all sir uh, jumped off the aircraft the first time mai to hosh hi ud gaye the like ka gaye ka gaye that jump is really very hard and very mindset jump that i have to jump and i have to land there on the ground at any cost time alone will tell us to who all will manage to pull it off high up in the sky The day of judgment for these five civilians has come finally. Their final task shall see them jumping from a helicopter, a never before opportunity for any civilian. Leave aside para jumping, most civilians do not even get to see paratroopers in action. Okay. Mila? You can go towards the aircraft. A paratrooper never leaves any loose ends, literally. The pre-jumping drill has to be followed in toto and the jumping gear has to be worn properly. Any laxity here can prove dangerous later on. I am just waiting to jump because I think I have I have confidence because of the training that I've been given. So I think I'll be able to do it.
Rudra, are you good? Yes, sir. Are you ready for the jump? Yes, sir. You can go to the aircraft. This is the final leap. और थोड़ा सा डर तो लग रहा है, लेकिन the lesson is don't make fear your master, but your subordinate, control it. Priyanka, ready? Yes sir. You can go to the aircraft. Yes, ready to jump always, and we are waiting for this moment for last so many hours, so it's time to jump now. Every both of you, both of you have the capability to do it. But it's a very small period of time and I have assisted you. It's just that the first reaction has to be a different kind. So you'll have to wait for some time and then you'll have a side dive. Rohan and Kuldeep need to develop and exhibit adequate self-confidence before their instructor can feel confident about their preparedness levels. Rohan, you can board. Okay. The para instructor's sharp eyes are trained to detect even traces of underconfidence. A big disqualification for anyone who aspires to become a paratrooper. Kuldeep is left heartbroken. He is out of the reckoning for this para jumping task. I'm going to talk about the food. I'm going to talk about the food. I'm going to talk about the food. It would be one of my life biggest moments if I jump solo from the aircraft. A paratrooper is an embodiment of supreme confidence. Confidence is a non-negotiable attribute for becoming a paratrooper. And nothing below 100% is acceptable here. Kuldeep's body language, facial expressions and his eyes mirrored his fear of heights. And the seasoned instructor lost no time in reading it. I saw two buttons on it. One reserve and one to open the parachute. That's why I didn't open it. I don't know what the name is. Where should I be? I should be able to get down. I should be able to get down. Check the canopy. Then hold. Look. Pull away. Cut away. Cut away. A little. He is trying hard to come to terms with this twist of fate. Check canopy, everything okay, okay. Land. That's it. When I was told that I was going to go up in the sky for the jump, I thought that someone hit a stone on a stone and there are cracks in it. I thought that I was going to go up in the sky for the jump. I thought that I was going to go up in the sky for the jump. Kuldeep's dream of jumping from the helicopter has come crashing down. Will this hamper his final tally for the main result? Watch out for the remaining four Mission Army candidates as they take to the skies for a daring jump. And find out who will ultimately emerge as the winner of the series. And the winner of Mission Army Desh Kiraksha is... Keep watching. I want to take away this parachute. Happy landing. Anything, anything we've done on Mission Army till now doesn't even come second to this.
this is the grand finale of Mission Army. It is time now for the ultimate task. The winner of the series would be decided on the basis of his or her overall performance in each of the tasks, including this one. Up in the air, they energize themselves, raise their spirits and brace up for the maiden para jump of their lives. They once again watch a full demo by a paratrooper. Just before slipping out, a paratrooper must take a quick look outside. The parachute has to be deployed at a certain height. Being a ram air chute, this one can be maneuvered in the left and right directions. This helps the paratrooper land at a predetermined point. This smoke generator helps the skydiver figure out the landing point. Now they will come on the same line of run. They'll drop the jumpers one by one in each single run. They'll drop one jumper. Once the jumpers land safely, then the other jumpers will exit. And this is the way the thing is going to go. Ready for jump! Yes, sir! At 4,500 feet from sea level, the world looks a different place altogether. first one to take the plunge. We told you Rohan is the first one who will be coming up. Watch out now for the jumpers. jumper is out. You can see this is the canopy which is deploying. Floating in the air like a leaf, he successfully deploys his parachute. He now has to follow the instructor's commands over his radio set. Success in the task would depend on how well he manages to follow these commands. If you can hear me, take a right turn. Okay. To confirm, now take a left turn. Keep going straight now. Okay, turn right. Turn right, turn right. Yeah. Yeah. Little more right. Lovely. Good job. Yeah. Straight. Don't do anything now. No, no turns. No turns. Yeah, now flare slowly. 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 Okay, slow, slow. Slow. Full flare. Very good. I just shouted Horizon. Up, down and just freaked out up in the air. I was coming down, I was coming down so much, I was coming down so much, I was coming down and I was coming down so much, I was coming down so much. A quick recap of critical learnings and Ela is all set to dive. With a parachute on her back and prayer on her lips, she gets going.
she has also managed to open her parachute canopy at the right time. Turn right. Yes. Now get on the hard brakes. Yeah. Ila is coming now. <laughs> Don't no, no more control. Don't no, no, no. Slow, slow. Flare, flare. Okay, flare now. Lovely. Two jumpers down. I checked the parachute and that was it. And then I started enjoying my canopy flying. <laughs> I want to take away this parachute. Happy landing. You are your own king. You just wherever you want to go, just go. Keep going. Just have to keep checking your altimeter. That's very important. Yes. spirit willing to soar like an eagle priyanka is all set to prove herself or is she standing at the diving ramp she has suddenly developed weak knees the para instructors never take chances with the weak hearted no such issues with rudrashish who's dead determined to do it I decided that I'm not going to hesitate. Even if I'm going to die, I'm going to jump and die. Just look at your altimeter. In case you are above 1,500, take a left turn. Okay, good. Take a right. Okay, good job. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, I can't even express that. I can't even put that in words. Oh my god. Anything. Anything we've done on Mission Army till now. Doesn't even come second to this. This is just mind blasting. <laughs> but then I did it. I was on my point at 1,000 feet. What a feeling! If I'm going to join the army, I'm going to be a paratrooper. That's for sure. I'm coming. Priyanka's fervent and repeated pleas failed to move her instructors. Priyanka hesitated last minute, so I don't know. She yeah, might... By hesitating in the last moment, this NCC air wing cadet has lost her only chance to jump from an army chopper. Priyanka, she hesitated a bit. And when I when I gave her an extra second to for her to respond, but then if she just froze, is she if she's panicking at the exit? I mean, after exiting, she has to make an arch and she has to make all do all the emergency procedures. I can't risk her life on that particular moment. For a paratrooper, it is not only enthusiasm but sheer guts that make a difference in the battlefield. मुझे पैरा में बहुत अच्छा परफॉर्मेंस देना है एटेनी कॉस्ट बिकॉज़ इट्स ऑल अबाउट एयरक्राफ्ट फ्लाइंग आई एम गेटिंग इनटू स्काई एस लाइक अ बोर्ड एंड आई एम हैविंग माय ओन विंग्स
I don't know the moment I'll be standing at the exit door of the aircraft. That time, what I'll be thinking. I was standing on the ramp, and then finally, for a fraction of seconds, there was nothing in my mind. And uh, but what what happened then in my mind? Even I don't remember what was my mind thinking. But okay, fine. It has been an eventful day for all the five candidates. To find out as to who amongst them is going to make it to the victory stand. Who is going to have the rarest of the rare privilege of being the one and only civilian who will get to participate in Indian Army's mission overseas? Who will be Mission Army's winning warrior? And the winner of Mission Army Desh Ki Raksha is... After the break... has arrived at the Manik Shaw Center in New Delhi. It is here where the name of Mission Army's winner is going to be announced by none other than India's Chief of Army Staff. request General V.K. Singh, the Chief of Army Staff, to kindly honor the five privileged contestants by awarding them certificates for having successfully completed their training exposure in the Army. I will now introduce the contestants to the Chief of Army Staff. These five talented and highly capable contestants are Priyanka Oswa, she is from Pune, an Airwing NCC cadet. Priyanka is currently undergoing second year of graduation in a Pune college. She flies the microlight, and her dream is to be a pilot. Ila Vora, she is from Pune, who is working with IBM India from the past two years. She wants to join the army. Kuldeep Rana. He is from Delhi. He is doing his MBA. He is living a dream, seeing life in the army at such close quarter. So has the army been able to motivate you? Of course, very much. Thank you, sir. There, there are a lot of openings even for the management people in the army. Right, sir. Okay. Rohan Vijay Takalkar, another Pune eye. He is a BCom graduate and he is currently running a fitness club in Pune. A die-hard army enthusiast. He wants to make a career in the army. Rudrashi Sen Gupta. He is from Mumbai. He is pursuing his bachelor's in mass media from St. Xavier's College, Mumbai. At the end, I would request the winner to come forward and accept felicitation from the chief of army staff. In the fifth position, Vora. The fourth position. 
Priyanka Oswa. Third position. Kuldeep Rana. In the second position. Rudvashi Sengupta. And the winner of Mission Army Desh Ke Rakshak, Rohan Takalkar. Twenty-four-year-young Rohan Vijay Takalkar runs a successful fitness club in Pune city and is willing to give it all up for joining the Indian Army. This diligent young man has earned this honor through sheer tenacity and always remained focused on the task at hand. He now gets the rarest of the rare opportunity to participate in an international training mission of the Indian Army. They began their journey a month ago as perfect strangers. Finding it hard to separate and go their own way, they are now trying to make the best of their last few moments together. Finally, I have got uh, this which matters a lot for me and uh, I need to clear my SSB this time at any cost and I need to join the Indian Army to uh, explore it more uh, uh, not in a sh shorter span, uh, in a longer span. We are all very proud for, uh, for him and he definitely deserves it and I am proud that I gave him such a tough fight because that's also a good thing and something uh, good and in the end, as you have written the elite fight. <laughs> Mission Army has been a life-changing catalyst for these five young civilians. Their trials and tribulations have helped them discover their new selves. Here I've learned to never give up. Come what may. Just go for it and I'm sure anybody can do it. Nothing is impossible. Most important thing according to me that I have learned is that there are no second chances. And I'm going back from here home with loads of confidence. This is my biggest learning that if you think that the thing you have to get, then you have to get it. Kachar, 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 hoo, 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 hoo.